All right, welcome back. Uh, tonight we are going to be starting Half-Life 2 Episode 1, which is the first of a planned three uh, expansions to Half-Life 2. Uh, this picks up immediately after Half-Life 2 ended. So if you were here with me a couple months ago when I finished that, it resumes right there. Uh, I haven't played Episode 1, I don't think, since it initially launched I've replayed Half-Life 2 a few times, but, like, for some reason, I've never replayed the episodes. I played them when they came out on the orange box, so that was, like, back in 2007, and it is 2019 now. So it has been 12 years or something since I've played these games. Uh, I don't remember much about these at all. I mean, I remember little bits and pieces, but in terms of, like, the gameplay and where you go and what you do, it's really only—it's it's pretty, it's pretty vague. Yeah, 12 years since episode 2, which is ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, this was this was exciting back then. It really was to get more Half-Life, and so soon it was it was great. So if you were here with me, uh, let's, let's just continue. If not, uh, you're going to be very lost, but I might have to do some volume adjusting and stuff. But let's begin. This isn't too long, I don't think. It should only be like one or maybe two or three streams. I don't know. But yeah, at the end, just as a quick refresher, uh, Gordon and Alex just kind of... Um, let me turn it up. I feel like it needs to be even louder. Pinyaps, thank you for the sub. I might have to turn it up even more. Yeah, this is exactly where it stopped. And then the G-Man put us in stasis but then these guys came <laughs> and did this yeah it looks like it needs to be louder turn it up a little bit more We still don't have a great explanation for those guys. Me when I think there's a bug in the room. I've played episode one and two, but not Half-Life 2. Wow, you must have been very confused. <laughs> yeah, they managed to save us from the G-Man, which is like the first time any character has like gotten in his way, which is cool. Oh, dog, I missed you. No, dog found me. No, don't drop me. Oh my god. Gordon. I was so worried. <laughs> hey, the gravity gun. Give it to him, dog. Thank you. There, it's still quiet. Hold on. Oh shit, that would be why. Okay, hold on. This might get loud for a sec. Or loud for me, at least. Uh, if I turn it up all the way, then turn it down to the levels I usually have it, maybe that'll be good. I'm switching over from Mario RPG, so the volume's, like, totally different now. I can tell. <laughs> okay, dog. Go get the monitor set up so we can check in with my dad. He must be worried sick about us. How's that? I'm so sure I wouldn't find you here. Actually, that's... All right. Hold on. S sorry. really coming apart. I still don't know how we got out of there. The you don't, last thing I remember is... You don't remember the purple guys? Falling. Yeah. Huge explosion, and then I heard Vortigaunts. Yeah. Next thing I knew, Dog was digging me out of the rubble. Oh, it, it's all so strange. Well, we should... It's my dad. We've been trying to reach him for hours. Mmm, soup. All right, I'm going to put it where it usually is. You. Okay. Oh, right, we gotta climb up there. 
Who's I'll be up there in a sec. Let me just build let me just build a ladder real quick. That'll work. Alex, how come you can just jump up there, but I have to build something? What type of soup do you think the gravity gun likes? Oh, there we go. Tomato soup. Mmm, soup. It feels like it hasn't been that long since Half-Life 2. Or since I streamed it, at least. How long ago was it? It was only like a month or two, wasn't it? There he is! Three months, maybe? It feels like a month. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. But listen, you two have to get out of the city. The citadel could blow at any moment. There's no question that it will, I'm afraid. Our remote sensors indicate the process is accelerating toward a dark energy flare. Is Anyone he? left in the vicinity will be subjected is he? to energetic events whose Isaac, effects are please. beyond my powers of speculation. The ravages to cellular material are Reiner, stop! <coughs> Dad? Oh dear. Eli, I'm sorry, but surely there's no need for undue alarm. Yes. It's well out of harm's way by now. It's right well, there. Actually, we're still at the Citadel. What? Oh, what? Dear. But there's really no time. The core is exceedingly close to collapse. Why, there's no way to get far enough without first... Well, nothing short of a direct intervention in the core could possibly is... retard the reaction. You mean going in? Into the core, yes. But it's far too dangerous to consider. The chamber will be bathed in radiation. Well, no, we're doing. Do have the hazard suit. I got the hazard the suit. Way into the citadel, it's possible. We Alex, could... no. But Dad, Izzy, talk some sense into her. I'm sorry, Eli. But I miss these know. characters too, man. I do too. Help us evacuate more citizens. We can do this, Dad. Playing these games is so bittersweet. It really is. Okay, just promise me. Promise me that you won't take a single unnecessary risk. I promise. I love you. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll do a dramatic reading of episode three, I guess. Dog was like, I, I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Oh, doesn't he like throw us in a car? I kind of, rem I kind of remember this. Yeah, I remember that. God, this is kind of coming back to me. I don't think... Yeah. I miss the baby. I lost my son not too long ago in that tower, Alex. Hold on. I mean, let me make sure my hotkeys are set. Uh... Video, no, keyboard... Quick save needs to be F5. Quick load needs to be F8. Perfect. Kickflip didn't make it. We're fine. Don't worry. We're good. I had to enter like a, a pod and Kickflip couldn't come with me. So I had to let him go. And it was very sad. It was emotional for me. Alex, you coming? It hasn't, it hasn't been that long. Dog. Look out. We're fine. He's so good. You scared the hell out of me. Now stay with us and help us find a way over. God, fucking man. <laughs> it really is bittersweet playing these episodes. This isn't gonna be easy. Well, mm. Doc, what do you think? Any ideas? Oh, he's got an idea, all right. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll just throw you. Look, he look, he made it. That rock made it. It didn't. You missed. What if you miss when you throw us, dog? <laughs> These animations are so good. Can that kill? <laughs> I wonder if that can kill you. It probably can. Really, that was a little close. It's gotten into you, huh? Dog, this is so dangerous. Supposed to help us. What? Wait a minute. Oh no. You're not serious. This is so dangerous. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, I'm doing the math too. We're gonna fucking break our necks. Uh -huh. All right. And how? What is he gonna do? As fast as you can. Go find Dad. We'll catch up. Don't worry. How is he supposed to? God, I miss dog. Please come back. Please. All right. Well, I'm bringing Funny Muffler with us. I hope you know. And he's going to sit in the back. No. Please, don't take another child from me. No! Can I put him... <gasps> Perfect. Let's go. I just got attached to him. Hold on, funny muffler. Okay, dog. Let's do He'll it. be fine. Before I change my... Okay. Jesus. I Careful. He's Hold fine. On. He's still in. Whoa. Oh! Phew. Oh. Good throw, dog. Now go, boy. Go on. You'll be fine. Just uh-oh. Uh-oh. What now? Oh no. Whoa. There he is. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, this is this is working. This is fine. <laughs> you still go okay back there? Alright, let's get off before the next ride starts. Yeah. Funny Muffler, are you okay? Funny Muffler, are you okay? No! Oh. <sighs> I'm just not gonna get attached to anything anymore. No more getting attached. Yes, it is. That's technically son number three that's dead. Unless you like to believe that, that Kickflip was the same baby from the start of Half-Life 2. Which I choose to believe, but... Come on. I think that laser beam killed Funny Muffler. Yeah, he definitely fell out <laughs> before the end there. God. Isn't the gnome... I'll definitely do a gnome run, but isn't that episode 2, not episode 1? Cool. You coming? God, this music is good, too. Oh, yeah, these are the stalkers. Except we actually can fight them now, right? Aren't they enemies proper in this game? God, they just have little fucking tongs for hands. These things are so creepy and disturbing and upsetting.
Yeah, they could. Got the laser beam eyes. What is he even doing? Yeah, I can try. You think I'll look like a stalker? Yeah, stalkers were just in the background in the first game, but I do believe you actually get to fight them in this one. They're very upsetting. They're super fucking disturbing creatures. But yeah, this is cool because it it feels this this is all like kind of new to me because it's been so long. Oh. See, that's, I think, all we really have to do if we want new Half-Life games is just wait a couple of years until they're not fresh in your mind anymore and then it'll be like they're brand new when you play them again. Let's get one of those roller mines. I feel like I was supposed to go that way, but... Oh, okay! Hey! No, I just want one of you. Come with me. Come with me. No, 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 no. Come with me. We're gonna go, we're gonna go fight the stalkers, you and me. All right, stay. Come on. Hi, Alex, I found one. Oh, you found one. Yeah, I just said that. Okay, do it. A little extra juice in the right spot, and it's on our side. I'll hold it out where I can work on it. Okay, well, I'm holding it right here. Go ahead. There it is. It's a lot more unstable, but it should last long enough to take out the stalkers. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Let it go now. Okay. It'll go ahead. Go ahead. Go get him, boy. <laughs> okay. We can get through now. Man. Still not old, the ragdolling. It's still good. Oh, he's dead. Everything I love dies. He's dead. Ugh. Ugh, these things are fucking disgusting. No feet, no hands, no organs. Looks like he's posing for like a model magazine though. No throat box. This one. Is he aggroed? Is he gonna shoot laser beams at me? No, he's dumb. We're good. Someone just said no ass. <laughs> I beg to differ. They're on fire! What are you talking about? They're too busy! I guess, yeah, they are busy on fire. Mm, soup. What? Oh, I was just kind of playing. I guess we have to do this. <laughs> you give me too much credit, Alex. It. Yeah, let's not let's stand back a little. Why are you Well, that was random. Yeah. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? That? Use your words. Tell me what you're looking at. This is a dead end. You have to tell me... Alright. Well, I'm gonna jump over here then. And I'm gonna save. Isn't this place bathed in radiation? She did say I had my hazard suit, but what's her excuse? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. We're good. Don't worry. Okay, you ready? Use your HEV v suit super speed. Go, go, go. Nani! <laughs> How did I make it? 
Okay, I'll turn it off. Don't worry. I have no idea how I fucking made it. Is there a way I can turn that off for her? Oh, you, you made it. So how'd you do that? All right, I guess that you're just not gonna tell me. Bad shit. Computer games. Zumbinis. What the hell are those things? What are what things? What, you... this has some useful what things? What are you talking about? Those? This looks like security cameras or something. Host body. That was one of the plans, right? Weren't they gonna do something with him, turn him into a slug or something? Money. Uh oh, you freaking moron! You just got breened. Ugh. So. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't know, maybe we should stand back a little bit, though? See, that's- I warned you! I'm- Get- Up! Oh. What the hell was that thing? I don't know. Brain slug. Whatever that was, it's gone now. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. I think that would have taken a bigger toll on us, but we're fine. Oh, great. Is this thing- this is the same thing that powered up my gravity gun last time. It's fine. It'll work. It'll just power up my gravity gun. Just, just sit tight. Yeah. <laughs> same- Yeah, it does. I didn't remember that this happened, but... Yeah, it did backfire. I hope it does. I'm sure it will. It did last time, remember? Oh, that's a health and suit. Come here. Uh... Perfect. Good puzzle. Uh oh. Yeah, goodbye. How long after episode one was episode two released? It wasn't that long, was it? Time to solve puzzle. See that little like square particle around these things when I grab it? Was it only two years? Come on. Two or three years. God. Once those two or three years passed after this game, and then four, and then five, and then six, and then seven, and then eight, and then nine, and then ten, and then eleven, and then 12 years passed after episode 2. It was a little over one year. June 2006 to October 2007. That's crazy. Haven't the Combine invented stairs? No. Not yet. They're getting to it. What do you think of the rumored Half-Life VR? Uh, 
I've heard a lot about it. Um, it sounds like there, it's like, might be a prequel starring Alex. And that's cool and whatever, but that's not, like, you know... Maybe it'd be cool, but... Like, I don't want a prequel. I don't- I want to- I want them to continue the story. And limiting it only to a VR audience is kind of lame too, I don't know. I'm not too crazy about the idea. Where is this, uh... I gotta hit that thing, those things. But yeah, it does- I mean, Half-Life VR definitely sounds like it's a real thing. And I think it's only a matter of time till we see it, but... Oh, that's got a thing in front of it. That's why it didn't work. Uh-oh. I just think at its current- in its current state, VR is still too expensive to- or at least, like, Vive caliber VR is too expensive. Savannah, thank you for the sub. I'm gonna have to go over there with this, I think. Um, we've talked about uh, Media Mo Molecule's new game, Dream, and I think it looks cool. I haven't seen like a ton of it, but if it's anything like Little Big Planet, I'm on board. Little Big Planet is something I definitely want to stream this year. Uh, sooner rather than later. Portal 3 would be cool, but I'd rather, you know, a Half-Life... See, it's weird because, like, at some point, the desire for Episode 3 turned into just Half-Life 3. People kind of started asking for that instead. I still want Episode 3. Because the way I, like, this game's story doesn't feel finished. And I figured Half-Life 3 would be another kind of, like, reboot where Gordon wakes up another indetermined amount of time in the future and new shit is happening. I mean, I'd settle for Left 4 Dead 3. I'd settle for anything. That's fucking awesome looking. Any single-player game from Valve at this point would be great. I just want, like, another fucking fun single-player shooter from them. Or at least another Ricochet. What did I do? Alex's voice actress still works with Valve. The, ooh! Does she? Dude, get on Artifact. <laughs> Please. Ooh. Did you see that shit? You're not even gonna- Did you see that sick dodge I did, Alex? Yeah, I just turned it on. Yeah, okay. What? <laughs> I dodged it! I guess it- I think it broke the elevator. <laughs> Oh shit, wait, where are you gonna go? <laughs> I have to catch it. Watch out. Lay, look at her ragdoll. Watch out. That's me jumping on the pterodactyl in Banjo Tooie. Oh fuck. The elevator is the pterodactyl, and the debris is me. Heads up. 
Ow. Oh no. What's wrong with this lift? I don't know. A lot of things? Yeah, probably. It's a good thing it stopped right next to the power thing. Yeah, but how do I get it? Mm. Is that a... Oh, look. Look at that. Do you still want me to eat the pictures? Because I'll... No, you don't have to eat the pictures. Great. Man, it's been so long since I've heard the music in episode one. Bingo. What's going on? What do you mean what's going on? Why are we going up? Do we need more? Oh, there's a stalker! I got him. I'll get him, don't worry. No, I'll get him, don't worry. I'll hit him, don't worry. <laughs> Hell yes! <laughs> That's <laughs> so cool. Here we go. Oh shit. Really moving now. Yep. Do you have any idea where we're going or It's this whole citadel is just so it's so below. convenient. Let's get off there and see where it leads. Okay. Like everywhere we go is the right place. Look out! Run! Where? Yeah, it was. But I did some sick dodges. Did you see, Alex? Can you tell me I'm cool? Alex? Do you think I'm cool? Yeah, for an evil citadel, it just feels like everything kind of works out in our favor in this place. This could be it, Gordon. Get on a random elevator, we go to the right place. Get in a random pod, we go to the right place. Goodbye. 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 Do you see him? Do you see the slug? He was on the TV screen right there. Now there's no TV screen, so she's not even going to believe me. He was right there, Alex. Alex, he was there was it was real. It looks like they were deliberately trying to blow the reactor. But why? What? It looks pretty far gone. What, that? That's the reactor, right? I hope Dr. Kleiner was right about this. Me too. I think he will be though. He was Let's right. See if we can find a way through the control room. You might want to hurry up on that. Try this way. Alex, in here. Entry. Let me see if I can call it back to this level. Another elevator. Good idea. That'll work out. Who is that? That's the elevator. These <gasps> are off the chart. There he is. To re the containment field. Good thing you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, good thing I know what I'm doing. Well, here's your elevator. My? Why aren't you coming? Gordon, I I wish there was something else I could do to help. I guess we're splitting up. Why aren't you helping me? Hurry back. All right. Oh, I guess. I guess I'm the one with the hev suit. Suit 182. Come here. Come here. You come here. Why can't I? Why can't I suck? Mm, soup. Mm. Mm. He's stuck. Can I grab any of these power balls? Line him up. Nope, I right clicked. I can't see my crosshair with the fucking blinding. Did I get it? I got him! <laughs> I wasn't even looking. Hey! Eat dick, buddy. Uh, 
All right. God, this music is awesome. Where do I put this one? Oh, this thing. Oh, this thing. Come here. Ah, bingo. Open salami. Okay, uh, then we'll go over here and, uh, over. Hmm. Hold on. What's that? What is that? Scary noise. Can I activate this again just out of curiosity? No, you can't. Okay. Hmm. Double bridge. Ladder. Bingo. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I went to MIT. I'm perfectly capable of figuring this out. Got him. All right, let's save and I don't fucking know. Gotta put a thing in there. Hold on. Can you just? Yep, 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 yep. He shoots. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I was getting damaged by that. This looks a lot like the thing you pushed into the resonance cascade, Gordon. Don't fuck it up again. Oh, fuck. <gasps> I can do this. Of course this is a flux capacitor. Look at this. I don't even know why you guys are fighting back at this point. You guys should just evacuate. Gordon, you contemptuous scientist. Release me from Zen. <laughs> Where's the, uh, hmm. This is alien music. Can I grab one of these through here? Just shoot this down the hall. Hopefully it goes where it needs to go. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is all the same day as, as episode two, uh, main game. Hold on, can I shoot this through here? Neat. Neat, but not where it needs to go. Is there any reason to shoot it in there? I gotta get it. Where do I gotta get it? Is it like in there? I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to put it. Hold on. I feel like it's gotta be in here. Can you crawl in there? Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, I can. Uh. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, we got this. This is just like Beat Saber. must be something I have to shoot with. Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. 
so is the entire war in this game just centered around city 17 i thought the combine had the entire planet i think they do have the entire planet but i think city 17 is like where they set up base they did they, they definitely have control over the entire earth but we don't really see anything outside of City 17 or the surrounding area. Okay. I feel like there were cooler places they could have set up their main operation. Good thing you know what you're doing, Gordon. Yeah, episode two is more outdoorsy. It's like all, what's the area, White Forest? Wasn't that the name of a location in Pokemon Black and White? Same universe? He was specifically trained to handle aliens. Gordon knows what he's doing. Hi, Alex. I can see you through the window. Hmm. I gotta get off over there. Okay. Whoop. This seems like poor architecture design. Why would they need to ride that to get to the... See, this is what I'm wondering. These Combine are very smart, but they know nothing at the same time. A bunch of fools. I mean, the question is, is like, if they ever wanted to do another Half-Life game, like a real Half-Life game, not a fucking VR prequel or whatever, it's like... Would they even be able to do... Like, part of me wonders if they just try to reboot it or something. Because it's... I feel like it's too late to finish up this game's story, but then you leave it unresolved, you know? This... Episode 2 ends on a cliffhanger. So, like, if they just made Half-Life 3 or a reboot or something... I always forget I can climb through those. Then this game's story would feel unresolved, but it feels too late to resolve this game's story. So I don't need, I don't know, man. It's tough. You can't end on a cliffhanger and just reboot it. That's the thing, you know? Give us a comic. That could work, I guess. It would be disappointing, but at the same time, it's like, it would be all right, I guess. Yeah, Laidlaw leaked what the ending was supposed to be. And it sounds cool, and it sounds like they really were leaving it open for another Half-Life game that's, like, set sometime after this, you know? Like, another new start for Half-Life 3. That was always what I thought they would do, and what it sounded like they were going to do was kind of wrap up Half-Life 2's story with Episode 3, and then Half-Life 3, whatever that would be, would be like another beginning. You know, a new set of, like, a new world, new characters, but still Gordon. I don't know. I'd like to see Shepard come back. They could do a Half-Life game in, like, a different part of the world or something. I don't know. I mean, Portal takes place in this universe, too, and that Portal 2 just raises even more questions because the end of that game, things looked pretty all right on Earth, but, like, we don't know what that was about. I don't know. It just, it feels too late to finish this game's story, and it sucks. There must be like a certain, I must have to turn on just, hold on, let me follow these wires. Or, 
Ah! I was getting squished. Yeah, I mean, it was just a field of wheat, so I guess it doesn't mean Earth is alright, but at least it's still standing, I guess. That's kind of what I meant. Like, I kind of figured that if the Combine had gone through with what they wanted, Earth would be, like, completely just like a rock, would be dead. So, I don't know. It is interesting that, that Half-Life and Portal take place in the same world, and I like when they do little nods to each other, but... Gordon, you did it. Yeah, I got nine health, the though. System's back in place. It I know. Last forever, but at least we've bought a little time. While you were in there, I did some poking around on the control data. Uh-huh. They were trying to start a chain reaction, all right. But destroying the Citadel is just a side effect. Uh-huh. Since we took out Brain's reactor, this is the only way they have to send a transmission packet back to wherever that came from. I can't tell what the packet contains, but it's important enough that they're willing to sacrifice the whole Citadel to send it off. We need to get it back to my dad and Dr. Kleiner at the outpost right away. I've been pulling down a copy. Whatever it is, I have a feeling it's bad news for all of us. There's something else. What? It's Judith. Tell what about her? The traitor? Judith, you traitorous swine! Oh, those things. The hunters. I love those. I thought those were introduced in episode two, though. Maybe they are. Oh boy, can't wait to see what happened to them. <laughs> Well, I mean, plans were definitely still in the works even as late as Portal 2, because they did tease the whole Borealis thing in that game. Yeah, we're going. I would have loved to see, like, Portal stuff cross over into Half-Life 3 or Episode 3. Wasn't there a rumor that came out recently about Half-Life... Three or episode three where Gordon like gets a robot arm from Aperture or something. You're pretty calm. That sounded like a pretty cool idea. I, I don't know. It sounded kind of neat, but it also sounded like, I don't know. I'm just anything that could potentially be Half-Life at this point. I'm just like, well, that sounds really fake. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like a fanfic. Yeah, it did sound like a fanfic. I don't know. I guess I'm just so desperate for any, like, hint of what it could have been. Aperture is abandoned by this point. An Aperture arm that speaks like Wheatley. Well, like, I don't know. Even the shit with Wheatley, like, I guess that's... He's, you know, he's still up there floating around. We don't really know what's up with him now. Portal 2 was a really good game. I need to replay that sometime. Can you do this one, too? Thank you. Hmm... We know that the Space Corps landed in Tamriel, though. That's canon. So, at least there's that. No, Wheatley didn't land in Skyrim. The Space one did. Maybe Wheatley will be in Elder Scrolls VI. This is working. 
My gravity gun sucks again. <laughs> this dude... <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> Coast is clear. Nice. Good job, balls. Could I get a gun? Maybe? This Alex, do you want to trade? Let's get in. Nice Gmod noise. Come on, let's get in. Speaking of Elder Scrolls 6, did you hear Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't sound like the same dudes composing it. I don't like that. Not one bit. Oh shit. This is a stalker transport train. Well, that was a nice clean getaway. No, it's not. What's in this copy we made, but they're not thrilled about. They're in a, can you get away from them? You know, all things considered, we're not Oh no. Step over here. Stalker car. Yeah. Why? Damn the combo. Why are you standing next to it? This is what happens to you if you resist. Stay away from it. Or she just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's gonna bite you. All right. That's very sad and, and haunting. What she just said. Epic, thank you for the sub. With any luck, we should be well out of the city. Oh. Let's hope the worst is over. It's not. It looks like you saved our lives again. What? What's that? What? What's oh what? God. Brace yourself. All right. This day has sucked. Oh, that's so freaky. Alex, Alex, are you okay? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'll get it. Don't worry. I got it. I'm, I'm pu trying. <laughs> I'm trying. It's good. Yeah, let's go. Get out of here. Come on. Come on, get out of the scary car. I know. It's fucked. Let's get out of here. Come on. Load. Don't you crash on me. Thank you. Low life. Half-life, low life. Hold up a sec. What? I gotta catch my breath. Yeah, it's understandable. Okay. Well. This might not be as easy as I thought. We're in the same boat as the other evacuees now. You thought this was gonna be easy? Let's head for the surface. Sounds like a plan. Stan. Touch. Can you do it? Thanks, Alex. Alright, let's move it. Oh, boy. Could I get a gun? Careful. I hear turrets. I also hear zombies and head crabs and... What, the zombies? They don't have bullets, Alex. What are you talking about? Yeah, Alex gets a cool pistol. I want the cool pistol. These episodes introduce a few new things, but in terms of, like, Gordon's arsenal, I don't think you get any new weapons in this game, in either episode. Is there an achievement for not using any weapons in this whole episode? 
I totally forget how long this episode is. I really, I have no idea when a good stopping point would be. This is a little scary. Yeah, you get the Magnuson device, I guess. Well, it's a good thing I got that flashlight on. I got it. Don't worry, I got it. Damn, it's got a powered lock. Yeah, don't worry. I, there's a vent. I'm an expert at these. Let's see if we can find the power box. I'll do it. Yeah, I know. I'm already in it. Well, we've only been streaming this for like an hour, so I probably should have kept that. We've only been streaming this for like an hour so far, but I don't know if like... I don't want to leave this with a short amount left so the next stream's really short. I'd like to like know what a natural halfway point or something would be. Oh, there's an achievement for using one bullet and you need it to unlock a door or something? Hey, sorry about that. It's very spooky in here. You still got like three, four hours left. Yeah, I, the thing, what I basically was asking is I don't remember how long this is at all. It took me about two hours to finish this episode. Really? Huh. Okay, well, we'll see. Hello? You should go till you reach the elevator to the surface. I think after you escape the citadel. Okay, all right. That sounds like a plan. I'd just like to split it like in half. Life. Well, that's not working. And I don't have a gun. And it's dark as fuck in here. Hmm. Can't break the window. There's a shotgun on the shelf in the cage. Oh, it fell. <laughs> okay. So this is the one shot I have to make? I probably won't go for the achievement. I'm definitely doing the gnome thing, but I don't know if... Oh, we get two guns at the same time. Nice job. Thanks. Hey, and you found a gun. Two guns. <laughs> She might point a fucking shotgun at her face. She does not like that. I think she was blinded by the light. What if I light up the zombie so then you can always see it? Get him. There's one over there too. You want to get him? Do you want to get that one? Yeah, I got it. What? What? You got it. It's very spooky in here. Ah! Ow! I thought you were dead. All right, let's keep moving. And oh boy! All right. Thanks. Nice shot, but you missed the achievement, Gordon. You might want to reload a save. This is too scary for me. Can we please change to a different game? Ah! I think this... So far, I've managed to make this a coinless run. We'll see if I can keep it up. Now we'll never get that goddamn gamer pick. Fuck. Oh shit. There we are. New enemy type. What the hell is that? Here it comes. Hmm. A combine zombie. That's that's like a um a, a zombine. Right? <laughs> zombine, get it? <laughs> Crap! Look out! It's got a grenade! <laughs> I love these things. 
I like these because, like, you know, that's one of. Really gotta talk to Dr. Kleiner about getting a new yeah, I was just about to say that. It's funny that, like, it's an annoying part of the game, and the developers knew it was an annoying part of the game because they had her say it. Couldn't they have just made it last longer? <laughs> But yeah, that, I like the, the addition of Zombine because that's something that, like, you know, I think everyone wonders while they play Half-Life 2. Like, what if, why don't the zombies, why don't the headcrabs jump onto the Combine? I fucking love their noises. Holy shit. Did you see the kick she did? God, this is cool. Holy fuck. This is awesome. Except I can't fucking see. Oh no! Alex died. Yeah, this is actually awesome. I don't remember this at all. The music really makes it. Hold on, let's let's recharge our flashlight before we go into there. Yeah, I will say, it adds kind of a suspensefulness to this part of the game. The limited flashlight is actually kind of neat here. Alright. Full flashlight. Let's go. The music really fucking makes this part. Uh oh. This is cool as fuck. What, I don't th think you used to be my friends! Can't you still smell the pheromones on my hands? Alright, we gotta recharge our flashlight. Alex! Oh, shit. Ah! Uh, shoot the explodey thing! Explodey thing! Nice. Get the flare! God damn it. I'm honest to God, I'm surprised I don't remember this because this is, like, honestly, one of the fucking coolest moments <laughs> in this whole fucking series. I love this. Uh oh. It has been over a decade since I've played this, but yeah. What are your plans for current and upcoming streams? Uh, right now we are currently doing streams of Half-Life 2 Episode 1. And then I think we'll go right into Episode 2 afterwards because, like, you know, I don't feel like taking a long break and then just doing another two streams. Uh, we're also, we just started Super Mario RPG. And then we also just started a restream of Banjo-Tooie. For the first time in like three years so that that's what's on the table right now but i've also got a lot of other stuff in the works half-life one versus half-life two i got asked this a lot during the half-life two stream and i think that there's such there's such different games i think in terms of replays like re like playing through the game again i think that half-life one might be an, a little bit easier to like you know get back into me too. There's less story in one. One is a lot faster and more like, I don't know, gamey feeling, but Half-Life 2 has such a special place in my heart too. I don't know. They're both really good for different reasons. I recommend playing the whole series. Um, and I mean, replaying through Half-Life 2 not too long ago, it still holds up so well. It's so fun. The physics combat is still just as fun. It's, it's, they're both great. I mean, one is, is charming in its, in its own way, though. Like, you know, you've, as long as you're playing with the old models and, you know, the, the fucking voices and everything, it's, it's charming in a way that a lot of older games are. Uh-oh. Hey, can you, I would... 
I got lost in Half-Life 2. Yeah, I never had that problem, but... Half-Life 2 is definitely harder to put down and pick back up. I think. Oh, are we done? Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Put a car over the hole. Oh shit, does that work? I bet that would work. Ha! <laughs> Look at that! Good idea. I think I'll stream Black Mesa when it's finally done. It sounds like- I mean, I haven't really looked into it, but it sounds like they're totally revamping Zen. Um... Oh, thank you for that toaster. That means a lot. Uh... I haven't- I played Black Mesa when it first came out. Like... And when I say came out, I mean, like, they first released the whatever version to the public and it stopped at Zen. Um, so I'd be interested in replaying it. Sure. How long ago did they release that demo? Was it 2012? Because I played it when it came out. It, oh, oh, all right. Zen in Black Mesa is now like four fully fledged chapters that's multiple hours long. Oh shit, look at this. Well yeah, that'll feel fresh to me too. I mean, I did play Half-Life 1, you know, within the last two years. But I think that I'd like to play that when it's finally released. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Hey, Alex, can you help me? Okay, thank you. Where's my shotgun? Oh, I'm out of ammo with that, too. Yoshi comes out on the 29th. Okay, well, we'll definitely... Sh I think I'll honestly stream that on release. Maybe not, like, at midnight. I'm not that excited. But, you know, we'll do it, like, the day it comes out, I think. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Alex, Alex, look out. Alex, I got you. Oh, no, never mind. Alex! Run, Alex, run! It would be a midnight release for me if it was still called Yoshi's Flippin' Island. But they really blew it. You're telling me I can't break this glass. I can fucking see the seam in this glass. I can definitely break this. Unless they just put that on wrong. Is that our smiley boy? He's a little shy today. That's the smiley boy. Okay, I guess we gotta just use the door. I was really hoping we could break the glass. What a beautiful smile. What a beautiful face. What a lovely boy. Hmm. God, I haven't heard those noises in so long. They're so good. Oh, you guys fight amongst... Oh, okay. Alex, you're wasting ammo. I can do this. Alright, well, you're wasting ammo. They'll die. Shoot the one that's not on fire. Alright, well. Wonder if actual Combine soldiers can hear the zombie Like, over their radios? That'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> Have you ever heard the voices of fast zombies when they're stuck behind a door? I probably have, but I don't know what sound effect you're talking about. Could you type it out in, in, in text? That way I'll be able to recognize if I've heard it before. Alright, we have to cover up these holes. Uh, is there another car anywhere? This area feels familiar. I feel like I, I... I remember this area. 
Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I've heard that one. Gersner blur. Yeah, I heard that one. All right, we're climbing up here. Come on. Come on. Alex. 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 All right. Have fun with your bugs then. All right, listen. Where's their, there it is. No more bugs. No more bugs, no more bugs. Put a car in the bug hole. Nope. Where are the bugs coming from? The, all the holes are covered, they're covered. There's no more bugs. Oh my God, there's a hole over there. Ugh, we gotta find another car. I'm looking for a car. Alex, give me a second. What? What is this? She's having a fucking scuttlebug jamboree down there. I hear you in my ear. I hear you! Now look what you've done! I was trying to open that! You fucking dickhead! Hold on. Here's a car. I found one. Alex, I found a car. Don't worry. Can you not? <laughs> oh, shit. I was closing it. I guess this one wouldn't make sense to close on its own. All right. Away we go. Almost there. Do you got bugs in your house? We'll get rid of them with cars. You heard us right, cars. I don't have any, this bit is going nowhere. I don't have anything else to say for that one. I was like doing like a pest exterminator that uses cars to get rid of the bugs. Nothing. We'll put cars by Pixar on TV in your home. It'll make all the bugs leave. We'll run those little fucks over. This bit has potential. Yeah, we'll workshop it, I think. Okay. Come on, this way. Smiley? I can't see his beautiful smile. I miss his beautiful smile. Someone flooded this dang basement. We'll try the bug exterminator bit again later. See how it see how it goes next time. Ugh. What? You're lucky you've got that hazard suit. This water's nasty. Got room for two in there? In my hazard suit? Grenade. No, there's not room for two in here. This is mine. Alex. Ah! Ah! There's more behind us! Holy shit. I might have a hazard suit, but you you can do karate, Alex. Move, move, move. I'm trying to get away from the zombies. Move. Okay. We made it. I'm sure it's safe in here. With the frizz? Uh. All right, Miss Fritz, I'm about to head out. I don't believe it. An actual elevator. I would have settled for stairs. I think stairs would be safer. I'd prefer stairs, honestly. That doesn't sound healthy. Oh, great. She didn't say you gotta be kidding. I, didn't. I don't hear her say this. 
She's not saying this. <laughs> it's just in the subtitles. What, well, I, what do you want me to do? If I didn't have subtitles on, I wouldn't know what she just said. I can't fucking see. Maybe I should submit a bug report to Valve. Maybe they'll fix it. In 2019. I can't see. Hey, Alex? Yeah, I can't see it, though. And my flashlight's out of battery. Alex? No! No, no! <laughs> That's pretty good. Seeing the flashlight, uh, the grenade light in the dark is good. That's, that's fun. Man, the music in this whole episode is really fucking good. There's a flare in there. Can we get that flare? I would like to... Can I carry that with me? Oh, this is nice. It's right in my face. I just have to touch them with it. Where'd it go? Did I get... Did it get used up? Being named Alex makes this stream unbearable. I'm very sorry, Alex. I'm sorry, Alex. I just threw a fucking piece of wood at her. And then she did a 360. <laughs> Alright, let me use this fucking radiator. Uh, what about over here? I'm almost out of light again. My roommate's name was Ethan, and he played Resident Evil 7. Where are you? I'm right here. There's a zombie behind you. Alex! Speaking of Resident Evil, when... Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Speaking of Resident Evil, when does Resident Evil 2 Remake come out? Is that the 29th of this month? 25th? The demo. I'm not going to play the demo. I'd rather save the experience for the full version. 25th, 29th is Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm definitely streaming the Resident Evil 2 remake, though. I'm very excited for it. Never got to play the original. And I really like Leon, so I'm, I'm on board. Also, it's the Resident Evil 7 engine, I think, which was good. I think it'll be good. It's really fucking dark down here. Is that gonna light the barrel? No. Yeah, I'm not gonna save it for Halloween. That's too far away. Where are we even supposed to be looking for? Ah! You good? This must be where the elevator wires are, yeah. Can you get it? Flare. Uh-oh, did it just crash? Nope. Whew. All right. Oh no, fast zombies. Where? Where? I want to save my flashlight for them. Where are they? Where are they? This is scaring me. Ah. Oh shit, more good music. I forgot how good this music is. Holy shit. All right, where is... I don't know where we have to go. I don't remember where the elevator is. Nice. Ah! Still can't believe they used that stock scream, but... All right. 
Yeah! Come on, this way. I, I think it's, uh, this way. Come on. Alex, come on, come on, come on. I think it's this way. Come on, Alex. Ow! Ow! Oh, we're fucked. Ah, uh -uh. nice punt. Thanks. I can't fucking see. <laughs> How much ammo do I have? We don't have a ton of ammo. I guess we'll use. I wanted to save it, but here comes trouble. Here comes treble. Maybe it's over here. What is this? Oh. I'm near <laughs> I thought I was really far away from the elevator because of how long it took me to find the uh, the thing. I forgot about this whole darkness section. This is really cool. I changed my mind. At first, I was like, I I was like agreed with her about the flashlight being too short lived, but this is cool. I like the light management here. Watch out, it's gonna blow. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. I'm trying to save my flashlight. Where are the flares? There's like, ah! Ah! Are we sure it's even working? Uh... It's a shame that their head isn't there. I'd like to see what they look like without the head. But yeah, the com Zombines' heads aren't attached to their bodies. Ah! Everyone always talks about Ravenholm, but I don't hear anyone ever talk about the elevator part and the whole underground segment in episode one. This is fucking cool. There was a scene in Half-Life 2 that showed a combine without their uniform on. Yeah, I think their models in Gmod too. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's get here. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitches. Yeah, it was. Also, the G-Man hasn't shown up at all because I think he's, like, being held by the purple Vortigaunts. What? <laughs> he was like, okay. That elevator fight had to be nerfed because it was too hard. Really? Thank God, it's still day. All right. Well, I think Let's this is a good stopping here. point, then, right? This is like halfway. Oh God, no! No, no, no! It's locked. Oh well. I can't believe this. Dog, right? Hey. They can't hear us, I guess. I guess. Well, we're fucked. Wait, there's a phone. It's hopeless. Yeah, if this is a good stopping point, then we'll stop here. Hold on, let me just see. If I go to new game. There are five chapters, so we got this one and this one left, it looks like. That's the end of episode one. Find out, will they... Th this is how episode two ends, too. They're just at a locked door, and we don't know if they ever get through it. Uh, that's it for the stream tonight. That was a good time. Uh, thank you for watching. We started Super Mario RPG and Half-Life 2 episode one. I think we'll just jump into episode two as soon as we're done with this one. So we've got a decent chunk of Half-Life ahead of us as well. Uh, if you liked the stream tonight, feel free to check out the rest of the streams on YouTube. You can search Panute's Archive and find me there. 
all the streams are sorted into playlists and everything. So, you know, if you feel like checking them out, that's where they are. Uh, we're currently doing playthroughs of Super Mario RPG, Banjo-Tooie, and Half-Life 2 Episode 1. So if you're interested in any of those, feel free to check back later. Uh, I try to stream as many nights a week as I can, so I should be back tomorrow night. If you want to follow me on social media, you can do so on Twitter at Mike Panutes, and you can also submit art at Mike Panutes during the stream, and I'll show it at the end of the stream. And we're going to take a look at that art right now, so let's do that. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, shit. I, I saw something real. Well, it's like the first thing, so I want to show this. Holy fuck. Wait a minute. Now I need to try this game. Now I need to try this game. Hold on. <laughs> because, well you, well, you guys will see. You guys hear about that new, like, sprite-based 2D Sonic racing game? Look what the hero did. Is this, like, something I could download? Is this real? Even if it's not real, this is sick. But, like, is this something I could download? Is this a mod? <laughs> it's really fucking cool. It's, yeah, it's in the Doom engine. That's fucking awesome. Even if it's not a real thing I could download, that's fucking so cool. That's impressive. Thank you very much. That's really cute. I've, I've honestly thought about streaming that game. It looks neat. That's really, really cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much. It looks like you put a ton of time into this. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, dude. Um, really neat. Yeah, that might be a one-off stream of that game. Uh, this is by Deku. This is some Mallow. It's just some crybaby Mallow. I'm very glad we're playing Mario RPG. It's been a good time so far. Thank you for that. Uh, this is by Giz Gunnar. This is really cute. That's really, really cute. I like that a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like the shirt. And then this is a picture of Toad with his bazooka by Minumi. Or Munemi, I think. Munemi. <laughs> uh, there's two different versions with two different backgrounds because they couldn't decide. What do you want me to get my bazooka or something? <laughs> That's it for the stream. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Should be back tomorrow night with probably Banjo and something else. Uh, had a good time tonight. Hopefully you guys did too. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Let me just make sure we saved. We did. Do you have my old save files here? Holy shit. 2012. Holy fuck. All right. Well, <laughs> that's it. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh,